Elon Musk is driven by a deep-rooted desire. He wants to be the one to colonize Mars. The SpaceX founder is planning to send up the first cargo ships as soon as 2022. But is that Mission Mars or Mission Impossible? One, two, three, four. Why does Musk focus on Mars? Well, Venus and Mercury are far too hot and Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are made of gas and have no surface. Mars seems to be the only option for someone who wants to settle down somewhere else in the solar system. But there are some questions that are pretty important to discuss when it comes to colonizing Mars and SpaceX. Why does Musk want to colonize Mars? What does SpaceX's spacecraft launch mean for Mars colonization? What tech is SpaceX developing to enable living on Mars? Let's find out. The SpaceX website is pretty revealing when it comes to his motives. I can't think of anything more exciting than going out there and being among the stars. Musk is driven by true determination. He stated several times that this project is his priority. And it's a goal that he wants to achieve in his lifetime. And why is that? Musk was deeply moved and inspired by the last time humans reached for the stars. He wasn't even born. But the year 1969 has affected him all the same. Especially the moment when the spacecraft Apollo 11 landed the first humans on the moon. And Commander Neil Armstrong said his famous words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. You know, the humanity landing on the moon, man, that was maybe the greatest thing ever. Maybe the greatest thing ever. Musk is driven by passion and wants to leave his mark on history and space travel. In an interview, he said his desire to colonize Mars is driven by the same passion that fuels people to climb mountains. It's all about the challenge. Musk would even want to move to Mars himself. But beyond passion, Musk is driven by his determination. Musk says that people who want to change the world will have to work at least 80 hours a week. A minimum that he seems to surpass almost always. Musk reportedly works between 85 to 100 hours each week. And people who work with him regularly mention his ability to stay focused for extremely long periods of time. And that's even more so when it comes to his number one life goal. When he launched the global high-speed satellite internet project Starlink, he said that ultimately it was only a way to finance his Mars mission. If you're interested in the Starlink project, click here and find out more in our Tech Explainer. This leads us to another very important aspect, the financial means. Elon Musk has said he only wants to make money to colonize Mars. And he is making a whole lot of money. His estimated net worth is currently 38 billion euros. And his fortune is constantly growing. Then there's also Tesla, Elon Musk's other company. In 2019, Tesla generated 22 billion euros in revenue. But what do electric cars have to do with colonizing Mars? Well, nothing really. But ultimately, it's money going into Musk's pocket, making the billionaire even richer. But colonizing Mars doesn't come cheap. In 2019, Elon Musk declared on Twitter that the colonization is estimated to cost between 100 billion and 10 trillion dollars. So, will Musk succeed? Well, he has taken one giant step already. In late May 2020, SpaceX made history by flying two astronauts into space, aboard SpaceX's very own Crew Dragon spaceship. This was crucial for Musk's plans, because once this mission is complete, the Crew Dragon will be the first SpaceX spacecraft certified for transporting people into space on a regular basis. But right after the launch, just a few weeks ago, an email from Musk to his SpaceX employees was leaked. For Musk, the launch doesn't mean that the company can rest on his laurels. He wrote, Please consider the top SpaceX priority, apart from anything that could reduce Dragon return risk, to be Starship. And this leads us to our final question. The Starship that Musk mentioned in that email is essential to the Mars mission. The idea is to create a fully reusable, super heavy lift launch rocket. 
that's designed to carry people across the solar system. But there have been some challenges. Just recently, in May 2020, the latest prototype of the Starship exploded after a test in South Texas. So, pressure is on and the deadline is coming closer. As early as 2022, Musk wants to land the first cargo missions on Mars. And in 2024, he hopes that people can board the Starship to travel through space. That's also when Musk wants to start building a production plant on Mars so that the Starship can easily refuel and start the trip back to Earth. By the way, the trip to Mars is estimated to take about 115 days. But apart from transportation infrastructure, it seems like Musk didn't entirely think Mars colonization through. There are some major issues, experts say, like the lack of water, for example. Liquid water is scarce on Mars. The only water on Mars is frozen in its polar caps or can be found in trace amounts in frozen clouds. Then there is the problem of low gravity. We know that long exposure to the zero gravity of space causes bones and muscles to deteriorate. Not much is known, however, about living on a planet with reduced gravity like Mars. And that's only the beginning when we talk about major issues in colonizing Mars. However, Elon Musk and SpaceX are very seriously working on a way to get a huge number of humans to Mars. Whether they'll succeed or not, well, I guess that's something we will find out. What's your opinion? Will the tech giant manage to colonize Mars? And if so, why? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you soon and bye bye.